Hi, welcome back to our mini series How to Manage Key Accounts Using Strategy Mapper and Salesforce. In this third video, we're going to cover initiatives. Mapping customer initiatives back to your products or solutions to ensure you have a healthy pipeline. Not only do you know, need to know the initiative, but also the products and the time frame and the potential revenue. You can consider customer initiatives as really pre-pipeline. It's more qualified than a lead, but not quite an opportunity yet. And it's a great way to stay ahead of your competition. Well, let's jump right back into it. As you can see, I'm in my account plan for Big Data Analytics. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Initiatives. As you can see, I've already gathered one initiative, uh, having had prior conversations with the customer. But just having a conversation, I uncover another initiative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New. And using my drop down right here, I'll select what the initiative is. I'm going to say it is BI Analytics. And what products or solutions will I match to that initiative? I'm going to go ahead and recently search, and we're going to pull from the product list in your opportunities. And I'm going to go ahead and say Strategy Mapper. Now I can put some additional information here about the initiative. Whatever I want to put in here. I can also add a customer contact, the one that I'll be reaching out to, to more or less go over this and really learn uh, what's going on inside of this. I can even email them right out of here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the time frame that we discussed, maybe to deploying or starting this initiative. I'm going to say it's Q3 of this year. And just based on a rough estimate, I can give a potential revenue. So I'm going to make this 100000 And I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'd like to go ahead and refresh my screen right here. And then what we do with this data is we then go ahead and we build out what we call a white space chart or graph. So I'm going to click on white spaces. And as you can see now that I have two potential revenue of $176,000 what products or solutions am I positioning, and also when are the time when's the time frame that they're going to be doing this? Now, I can also go back in the initiative. Let's say that eventually down the road I'm talking to the account, and uh, I'm, well, you know what? It's a great opportunity. I can create an opportunity right from this initiative. I can also create a milestone. For example, let's say that. Uh, I don't cover BI analytics for my company. Maybe somebody else does. I can assign this in a milestone to somebody, and that way they can cover and follow up on it and move this initiative to an opportunity. So nothing gets left out, nothing drops below, you know, between the cra uh, cracks, so everything is covered. And so that's really about customer initiatives. They're very easy to gather. Uh, we score them all. Uh, it's based on a pick list. We'll pull from your product list. Customer initiatives, they're very powerful, and it really keeps you ahead of your competition and will generate or be able to view pre-pipeline. For example, let's say I have a quarter that I'm about to miss. What deals can I possibly pull in or what initiatives can I potentially get with the customer and pull in and cover that lost revenue. So these are covering customer initiatives in Strategy Mapper. Thank you for watching this short video. If you're a Strategy Mapper customer, again, thank you very much for your support. If you'd like to learn more about Strategy Mapper, please contact us at pointintime.com or search on the Salesforce App Exchange if you'd like to try a free 30-day fully supported trial. The next video we're going to be talking about are milestones within the account. Thank you.